Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to fix my hair in the middle of the video. I don't know. No, you, no one cares what my hair looks like. Uh, well, maybe our wife does, but that's about it. Me's probably second. You definitely are like way down the list of what my hair looks like that you care, right? <clears throat> um, winding down my day, but I thought I would um, do a video on OBS. If you are a super nerd, you know what it stands for. <laughs> and for the non-nerdy types, it's open broadcaster software. What? Is, and you're like, Patrick, okay, great. What, what does that even mean to me? Well, it means this to you is it's free. <laughs> First of all, it's, it's super free, like extra free, like free plus it's free. And that's a big difference because now you can play around with this software and make your next zoom meeting and or teams meeting and or who, I mean, if you're not using those two, I mean, maybe Cisco, like what else are you using out there? Go to meeting. What else? Blue jeans. <laughs> I don't know. You're probably using Teams or Zoom. Let's be honest. Uh, so anyway, the point is, how do you get, do you, what does the OBS do for me? Uh, selfishly, why do I care? Well, here's why you care. Because you can make your next Zoom meeting. I don't know what's going on. I have a five o'clock meeting. Your next, your next Zoom meeting or your next Teams meeting, super cool by putting graphics inside of it. I have graphics inside of it right now, as you can see. Uh, but I'm using a whole uh, Prezi video for that. I actually pay for Prezi video. Um, and it has these cool templates that I could put on there. But what about OBS? Well, here's what it is. I downloaded it already. I already have it downloaded. So go to obsproject.com right there on the screen. Go to obsproject.com. Open it up. Download it for whatever OS you have, Windows, Linux, or Mac. And then launch it. And then open it up. Once you install it, you're going to see this screen. It's all black. It means nothing to you. You're like, Patrick, I, don't, I can't do anything with that. Well, here, here, let's learn, let's learn something. Let's go to sources. Let's go to sources down here and hit plus. When I hit plus, it's going to say video capture device. By the way, that's a camera. <laughs> so we're going to add a video capture device. We're just going to add a brand new one right here. And we're going to pick what device I'm going to use. I'm going to use my Logitech Brio device. Boom. I have, I have a camera. All right. You're like, Patrick, that's great. I don't care. Let's resize it. It looks a little small. I can fit this whole thing in here. What if I do this? Then I just stretch it out more. No, I just want the whole thing in there. Okay, cool. It's in your screen in the entire your your entirety of your screen. I'm gonna put black bars on top and bottom, just like you do with the movies. Okay, you're like Patrick. That's still not still not that cool. Well, let's add some. Here's why you would do it. Let's add something to here that no one even um, like a picture. So again, let's we'll go to add source and we're going to go to image and we're going to add an image and then it's going to say, Hey, where's that image that you want to go to? You're going to go to any image you want. I don't care what image it is. I happen to have uh, an image called tattoo nerd. All right. It's entirely too big because now it's unusable. It's in my screen unusable. What if I wanted to make it look like a picture? Like, what if I wanted to make it look like a picture in my background? I could do that. Let's, let's do it over here. Let's do it over here. And now, all right, tattooed nerd inside of my, my camera. The next thing we got to do is actually start our virtual camera. To start your virtual camera, you're going to hit the start virtual camera button. <laughs> I know it's very, very complicated. So now our virtual camera has started. Now we can go back to Zoom or Teams. Or WebEx, or and by the way, I, I the reason I'm using Zoom is because I actually work for Zoom. <laughs> I'm a I'm a full time employee of Zoom. I'm by no means a spokesman for Zoom uh, or a figurehead of Zoom. Uh, all the words in this video are of mine alone, uh, and I just like to talk about cool stuff that you can do in Zoom. So anyway, we started our virtual camera right here in OBS. We can now pick that virtual camera right here. It's called the OBS virtual camera. Look at that. Now that image that I have in OBS is now overlaid inside of my zoom meeting. Think of the possibilities of what I just showed you. I could literally have my own logo right here. What if I wanted my own logo, my company's logo up on the top right hand corner, I could literally just pull it up here 
And during the meeting, inside my Zoom camera, I have my own logo inside of Zoom for free. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You could do this today. You could do this right now. Just follow this guide and you can use OBS in your next Zoom and or Teams meeting. You can then put your logo on there. You can put the title of the meeting on there. You can put the agenda on there. And it's always on so everyone that's participating in the meeting gets to see my OBS software graphics. By the way, it's an overlay. So what do you think is going to happen if I move my head behind this thing? That's exactly that's what the clue. It's an overlay image. It is not a transparent image. So it is at the forefront of my screen. It is not a virtual image behind me and can see the frame of my body. It is a logo. So remember when you do this and you want to put your company logo, put it in the top left or top right hand corner so it's not obtrusive to anybody during the meeting, uh, but allows you to, to customize and brand your own meeting. And again, the possibilities are endless. Logo is an easy one. Agenda maybe is a cool one. A topic of the month is a cool one. Like whatever it might be that works inside your Zoom meeting, this takes you away from having to do, use PowerPoint or Google Slides to, to present everything. I can really present with my camera now. Anyway, I thought it was cool. I hope you do too.